Welcome once again down to Golf Tech Studio in Hemsworth. With a new year upon us, what better time to look at habits of the past and how we can change them to improve outcomes of the future. So with that in mind, a quick video looking at the six elements of how to create the basic fundamentals for a good golf swing. So first on the list is aim. Aim is primarily controlled through the club face. As we go up through the clubs to the longer ones, 85% of the start direction of the ball is determined by where the club face aligns. But which part of the club face do we aim with? Well, it's the leading edge. The leading edge of the club should be at 90 degrees to the ball to target line. So stance, as a general rule of thumb, the inside of the feet should be like the outside of the shoulder. So here we are measuring the width of my shoulders. Toes should probably be slightly turned out and I tend to measure the width on the heels rather than on the toes. Posh is an interesting one because it's about being able to move athletically but stay in balance and so you should feel like your weight primarily runs down through your shoelaces, not too far forward on the ball of your feet, not too much on your heels, but you should feel like you're trying to get yourself centered almost as if you were doing a deadlift of where you'd find yourself at a point before your knees straighten. Grip is a little bit of a subjective one because it can change depending on what your path is and you'll not know your path until we start hitting golf balls. But as a general rule of thumb, left arm and shaft in line, you should be able to see two knuckles on your top hand, left hand for a right handed player, and you should feel like you can probably see around about one knuckle on your bottom hand. And that then will put some pressure of the right hand against the left hand, feeling like almost you're trying to force your elbows together a little bit. There's two recognised ways of doing ball position. We've got the static ball position where, generally speaking, the ball would be pressure, uh, positioned off the left heel and then you would move your right foot away further and further for the longer clubs. Or we've got the moving ball position where you'd say, generally speaking, is that short irons would be in the middle of your stance and then you would edge your stance this way as you get into your longer clubs and eventually your driver will be somewhere off, somewhere between your left heel and your left toe. And finally, we've got body alignment. So if we're saying that the club face is at 90 degrees to the target here, then the body should be aligned parallel to that. So that is the shoulders, the hips, the knees and the toes all at 90 degrees, almost like train tracks running parallel to the ball to target line. So here's the kicker. And this is probably something you've never heard a golf coach say in a golf video before, but you don't have to get any of those aspects right. All you have to do is be able to produce your setup the same every single time so that you can deliver a similar body movement every single time and get a predictable outcome. So with your practice sessions, take time to measure. Ball position, for example, put a stick down between your feet. Where is the ball relative to your left heel or the centre? With your grip, put some dots on the back of your glove potentially so you can see that you can get the same grip on every single time. When I'm practicing, if something goes wrong, and often it does, I can generally guarantee that it's something within my setup that has caused a problem later down the line. It's like a chain reaction. So the more change you can get in position before you start moving the club, the more chance you've got of producing a consistent and predictable outcome. Take the easy wins. Golf is not easy, but if you build your golf swing around solid foundations, then you'll have a fundamentally more sound golf swing.